Hey, it's Coolio. If you don't know, it is time for more Vyarkamegalo. We are on um, session number six, I believe, and let's take a look at the standings as they are so far. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so currently in BK mode, we have bumper stickers, which needs one more treasure bumper. We have Length of Past, which could go on with a variety of items. Uh, time spinner is in BK. I the variety of items would get that out of BK as well. Uh, tunic definitely has some more stuff that uh, that is obtainable there. Uh, Meredith Skyden would be limping limping at this point. Uh, short hike is where we're going to be starting, but pretty much only for a quick dip. Um, cross code. Again, uh, some scattered items here and there, but mostly um, I need the Bergen Mine Pass in order to continue. And actually, that's probably one of the hints that I could ask for now that I think about it. Uh, that's on slot seven. I know it appears to not exist in this multi world. Oh good. Maybe maybe there's something that I'm missing. Uh I might have to check the um Let's go check the data package, I think. Uh, how many results have passed on them? Sixty-eight. Hmm. Oh, there is a mine pass. There it is. Then how do I get into the mine if there is no mine pass? Did I pick the right one? Yeah. That's weird, yo. Anyway, I've done a couple of hints to try to situate myself, but uh, yeah, some of these I, I'm going to probably still kind of stumble, like Astalon, for instance, where, um, uh, oh, that one, the uh, the Universal Tracker is accurately telling me that everything that is left is in the shop. Um, and anything that is in the shop is of no particular use. Uh, Metroid Zero Mission needs the Speed Booster, which uh, is in Tunic. Uh, it's in the Quarry. Uh, I also hinted for a sword for, uh, for Tunic, and... Uh, it gave me a location that's hidden behind Holy Cross. The, therefore, that doesn't really help me at all. Uh, Symphony of the Night, there's a couple of items that I can maybe get, but like, I don't know that there's anything useful that I can really do. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV, there's still four checks that I can get, um, but those take a little bit of time. Which leads us to Kirby and the Forgotten Land. And that's kind of where we're going. Um, at the end of the last stream, I did a, I forced a hint um, from the server to tell me where my cone mouth is, because I need that in order to make any sort of progress. And I can't actually hint for it in Kirby in the Forgotten Land because I don't have enough points, because I have not had an opportunity to, to really make checks. Um, that's in a short hike. That's where I'm going to be starting. Once I can find my terminals. There we go. And now that I have the 8-Bitdo controller, I don't have to, um... I don't have to run a short hike through Steam anymore. It's pretty great, actually. Uh, 
Now let me just make sure that, uh, yeah, that is coming through. Okay. Uh, oh. So we're going to switch that to a short hike. Oh, let's look at the board. Well, shit's on fire. Receive 32 coins from slot 4, and those are 32 very useful coins, actually. Uh, now I just need to figure out where the uh, boat rental is. Hey, buddy. I have, of course, also been watching the Arbor Pelago. And, um, looks like Arborelia is uh, almost done with hers, but, like, she also spends a lot more concentrated time on hers. Oh, hey! Wait, 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 wait. Well, one thing, there's that. Another thing, I found the artist. Blackwood Forest Lighthouse. Anyway, I'm just going to travel along the coast for a minute here. And uh, eventually, I'm sure, to find the boat rental place where we shall attempt to rent a boat and instead bestow a certain pink puff ball with the ability to turn into a cone. Uh, we don't have a stick yet, do we? No. I forget which one the Blackwood Forest is, honestly. Oh, that's a... I already opened that chest. Oh! Boing. Hey, wait. I thought there was another one. Unfortunately, this is not the boat that we would be renting. This is where we would learn about fishing. I took- I, I got one fish, I guess. Despite not having a rod. Oh wait, um, this is where I use the pickaxe, right? I 
I mean, this is still caved in, at uh, the very least. Oh, there we go. The way forward is blocked. Dang. I guess I probably need to, like, unblock it from both ends. Uh, where is the dang gosh boat rental place? I think we're coming in on it here. Oh, we've, we've just done we've just done a whole lap of the island and not found this place, which is definitely like along the water here. Okay, this is where I break out the map. Hey, Tarion, how you doing? Okay, Pop Tracker, where you at? Shore hike. There is an in-game map mod. Actually, that would be super useful. Okay, this is Sandcastle Guy. And the Sandcastle Guy is like around here somewhere, right? Where is Sandcastle Guy? Oh geez. Okay, we're on the opposite side of the island from where I need to, to be. Yeah, thanks for bringing that to my attention. Uh, we're not going to be spending a whole lot of time on the short hike because uh, honestly there's not a whole lot that I can do. Like I'm looking at the tracker and there's like one, two, three, four, five, six. I think six checks that I can do. And really I only need to make one right now. I don't think it's this one. Okay, yeah, that's... I see the island that I'm on right now. Like, this is a fun, nice, chill game, but also... It's hard enough to navigate if you do have the compass, and I don't. There we go. 
So it's a good thing that I got those 32 coins sent to me. Because this costs 100 coins. But we finally have Cone Mouth. And so that's uh, basically what I was looking for. So with that, uh, hang on, let me do this correctly. Press the transition out button. There we go. Uh, and Kirby in the Forgotten Land is available. And there's a whole lot to do in it. Okay, let's see if I can just switch the 8-bit dough to Bluetooth mode so that I may play on the uh, on the switch. You know what? I don't know how to turn on the switch remotely actually. Uh, I will be right back. I think I gotta do a little bit of finagling to actually get the switch going. I'm not sure why I can't uh, turn on the um, the switch using the the eight bit dough controller. It's weird, and the controller itself works fine. But yes, uh, Grim's got it covered. Um, this entire time, I have been stuck behind Cone Mouth because I needed to finish the first uh, non-introductory level and yeah, not having enough checks to actually do a hint, I was just kind of stuck having to look for it. And then at the end of the stream last week, I was like, you know what? I'm kind of tired of looking for this. Just force a hint from the server. Where is it? And then we got it. Because it was in a pretty easy place, it was just a matter of uh, having the money for it, and thankfully I had it. I use game capture on. I, like I don't understand why I can't use game capture for the shadow cast anymore. That used to work, I swear. Oh, well, window capture it is then. Whenever you're ready, why are you not capturing? There we go. No, I had to unfull screen it, but uh, there we go. Uh, we are playing Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Um, 
also gotta turn up the volume because I know that uh, the uh, capture for the uh, Shadow Castle is a little quiet. Um, also, I need to open the manual client. So yeah, now is definitely saying that I can clear um, downtown grassland and also do most of the checks here. Hello. And unfortunately, I don't have a second player, but I appreciate it. This may or may not be the only thing that I do today because it's so far behind, actually. Which abilities do I have access to? Ice, Cutter, Fire, Tornado, Crash, and Duel. Also, let me see if I can make all of the tulips bloom. I think I was missing one last time, too. I have cut it right. Okay. Flower. Maybe that's the one that I was missing. Checks made in this game? Three. Checks available in this game? Far too many. I should probably have done some research and like actually like seen how many checks there are in this game. It's like I don't think that there was much of a way to make this any shorter, actually. to bother with that either, but I guess that's the decision I made. Anyway, look what I can do now. <laughs> Check is for fools, just cut to the warning. Yeah, that action that I just did there is pretty much 
not here, but in another place, is what I need to do in order to actually progress. I made a bad cutting joke, I see. Well, you know, not all jokes land, and that's okay. Anyway, this guy is technically a check, but also we've already gotten this check, so it's not like we can unget this. Dang. Why did you turn around? There we go. Hey Elia, how you doing? Yeah, um, I was missing uh, Cone Mouth for the longest time. And then I kind of ended up just kind of throwing my hands up and being like, I can't legally hint for this, so I'm just gonna server hint for it, because I need to know where this is. Ah, oh, where did it go? And yeah, it was at, uh, it was at Boat Rental, and uh, as it turned out, I had exactly enough coins to uh, rent the boat. Uh, which map phone mode is this? Uh, this is dome mouth? I don't think I have this map phone mode. No, I do not. It's been a hot minute since I've actually uh, played through all of this game, so... Dang. And that's D3. Uh, D2 is still not accessible. server I put here so that I can see what I just got. Max HP, okay. Now let's organize this a little bit. Someone was using the cone as a boat. Yeah, pretty much. Power. That's three. I feel like I've missed one again, though. Yeah, I might have to come back and figure that out. A life-size Benchy? Sure to what that's referring. Oh, there's one of the flowers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I missed one of the flowers again because uh like it was saying that uh five tulips was obtainable. But yeah, that right there is why I was not able to progress. I didn't have code mouth, and thus I couldn't get up here. Oh, 
Oops. Back to get. And unfortunately, I will need to obliterate this majestic creature, but uh, thus is the way of Kirby. Okay, there's uh there's checks for the capsules. Oh I guess I just got that. Oh, full trap grade. Uh capsule in white crates before mini -vine. Yeah, I got that. Seashore. Sure. Oh, interesting. Because I get a check for each of the Waddle Dees, and there are three Waddle Dees in that cage, so I get four checks for this. The stage clear is going to be progressive stage clear. Uh, then I get Fire Boomerang, Morning Star, and five levels of Monk. Oh, and I got Ride the Speeding Water up to the balcony. Oh, well, that's another check. Missile Tank. I don't have break the building shutter, and that's out of logic. Make five tunings, uh, make five tulips bloom is in logic, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna. It's the one check that I can still do in this stage, so I'm, like, I'm just gonna. The small boat you use as a test to read deeper. I see. Okay, that uh, allows us to progress the, through the tunnel. Four hidden wall Ds, I can get three of them. And also light four lantern switches, remove the wanted poster. Uh, three capsules, I can get all of them and then stage clear. I will note, like, there are a lot of checks in this game, but um, I'm guessing that a bunch of them are not going to be in uh, clear logic because um, I didn't set it for a 100% um, clear because that's silly. I think it is. I still don't have dome mouth, so I can't do that. Have fire. I should have. Oh, there's fire over there. Yeah, of course I have fire because otherwise, how would I be able to light the lanterns? And there's one over here. Uh, 
A capsule as the capsule behind gate. That's a memory of a distant world. I think that's uh, seven of them? Twenty of them to clear Final Fantasy XIV. Oh my goodness! Don't go doing that, Kirby. <laughs> okay, that comes up. And that's the lead of the switches. Oh, okay, and that uh, takes me on the path over here. But you can still technically get to... Oh, jeez, I don't want to go through that door. But you can still get here, it's just... One, I have to light the lanterns anyway, and uh... There we go, that's number two. Number one is not obtainable currently. That's a humming razor for crosscode. That's probably one of the weapons. Speaking of fire, you'll notice later no helping yet. Let's see. Maybe I will notice, maybe I won't. I'm really good at not noticing. I don't think I need to unlock Kim. I definitely don't need to unlock Kim because uh, otherwise I would not have been able to get this wall day. Gives uh, our Ruin Seeker friend another 20 monies. But, uh, as we have learned, um, money is not particularly, uh, not particularly an issue. We know how to get unlimited quantities of it using this one simple trick. Uh, I think I have... Yeah, I have stairs now, so I can do this. A face, dude. Um, oh, okay. So I control the direction that I fall into. It's, it's been a bit since, uh... Since I've done this, so... Stairby. Stair B and B. Well, this looks like a, uh, a wanted poster to me. poster for a rare stone. Also, I think I might have left something back here. So I wasn't sure how far this goes is the thing. Uh, capsule behind bomb block near end. Heart refresh. So was there something back here? Yeah. Me just going forward without really considering, hey, maybe I want to check if there's something here. Uh, I don't think there's anything here. Huh? It doesn't look like it.
the whole Chase Bank money thing, you wouldn't talk about money tricks? Oh no, I just been... It's okay, I'm in Canada. Chase Bank doesn't operate in Canada. Okay, so this one's a little annoying. Because if the stairs are on top of the fuse, then the fuse will stop there. Yeah. Do that. So like I want to put it over here. No, that's on top. BMO, CIBC, RBC, TD. Um, Scotiabank. I think I'd remember Scotia Bank. I think that's everything here. There's still one lantern switch left somewhere though. I guess I must have missed it. Well, right now, forward progress is the most important. If I missed one thing, I'm not going to worry about it. But there is supposed to be a capsule somewhere around here in the grass. It's probably that patch over there. Oh, that's, that's the thing that you were trying to not help with? I see. Oh, Golden Feather for a short hike. Alright. So stage clear. Progress of stage clear. Wild D1. Four firecrackers. Wild D2. Is a Waddle D. And Max Aura for time spinner. Also, there is a secret room, but that is not a magic. So there are two treasure rooms hidden around here, and I have... And that's probably the two treasure rooms that have just appeared. Cover treasure is in logic. Let's do that. Um, I... Uh, I did check, and I do not need to reach target time. I just need to clear it within the amount of time given. And that is absolutely not how I was meant to do that. I need to get these with the cutter. Now. the target time anyway. 
Yeah, that just gives me an extra 50 coins and is not a, uh, a check itself. Uh, let's see. Treasure roads. Let's cut our treasure and that's uh, two green risotto. But more importantly, a rare stone. Uh, how many rare stones do I have? I have 10 rare stones that I can use, and 16 star coins. Uh, here's the other one. Nope. Um, I also I keep pressing B instead of A. So that's bomb treasure. I do not currently have bomb. But there are also hidden treasure guards. The vending mouth is not available. There's one more somewhere around here. Oh. Bones. Let's see what's inside. It's Cone Mouth. Come on. Yes, I know. There we go. How is that a hit? I think I'm gonna need to try this again, yeah. That went poorly. Uh, and I pressed B again. I I get confused, like, especially when you're dealing with multiple generations of games, and some of them have uh, B to confirm, and some of them have, some have A to confirm. And by the way, no, I don't know what the deal with the thumping is. I... Oh, God. At least the fridge isn't currently dying. Why am I so bad at this today? Like, this isn't supposed to be hard. It's just I'm ending up with a lot of, like, slight precision errors. There we go. I didn't hit target time, that's okay. Cone Mouth Treasure gives uh, Ether to Time Spinner. So now we are on to Triple R. Rocky Rollin' Road. There I go, pressing B again. Well, let's go take a look at what's in logic here. Ten checks. Uh, the last two of the four hidden logies. Find the side road while going uphill. Eat snacks off three tree stumps. Drive without falling off the edge. Uh, one obtainable ca uh, capsule. There is a HAL area in this game, which is apparently a check. And then the four checks at the end. Okay. 
Please not, sir. I do not yet have gun. Which might be a problem, because that guy respawned, which usually means... Um... I'm going to need it for something. Yeah. Okay, do I have needle? I do not have needle. Get that. Maybe I need to use you, actually. Or, no, I need to use gun. That's what it is. As Jason would say, use gun. This level is completable. Found the side path for Waddle Dee. Don't have dumb mouth yet. Can I go over there? The answer is no, and I probably wouldn't want to. All of these things that I'm for that I'm being forced to miss it makes my brain unhappy. There we go. Three snacks off three uh, off uh, tree stumps for another waddle dee. Oh goodness. I might want to run away, by the way. Just saying. I probably wanted to hit that switch, actually. Well, I probably hacked myself there, but that's okay. So now I need to drive without falling off the edge. Yay! Well, that's that done. Can jump. I'll make the ramp. Yep. There we go. Crash into this building casually. That's wall D number four for a rainbow trap. Anyone see anything? I have no idea. Oh my goodness. Capsule breaks in the goal. That should probably say crates, not crates. 
No falling here, just amazing driving. Okay, stage clear. And we get five levels of Dragoon, a seashell, and another Waddle Dee. I also missed one of the Waddle-Dees that uh, were in Logic. But I'm going to progress as much as I can, because I got a lot to do. And um, a trip to Alvo Mall is completely a magic. I can get everything here. So the goals are eat four donuts, eat an invincible candy, navigate them all without getting lost, a uh, few recapsules to get, including a few capsules that are too long for... There we go. I do enjoy the music for Alvo Mall. Let's make sure I haven't missed any donuts or anything. Always good to check because, like, I don't know offhand which, uh, which, like, hot spots and things have uh, the checks that I need. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. One of my donuts. Oh, geez. And here is our first capsule. Capsule behind brown blocks over first pit. Star coins. There's the hyper candy. I will mark that when uh, I'm not under the effect. That's the first one to do. Okay. So. That is in wall D1, because it's even randomized. Uh, even invincible candy is star coins. I'm pretty much going to handle this the way that I handle. Um, the way that I handled it during my actual uh, playthrough of this game. Uh, Star's Mouth is in logic.
I need to go through the burger door. But yeah, like, when I was originally playing this game, um, basically there was a first pass where uh, I just play all of the levels and just do my best. And then a second pass where I try a little harder to get the things that I left behind. And then a third pass where I just kind of look things up. Kirby 64 is pretty good. Like, it has fewer raw abilities, but the fact that you can mix and match them was pretty interesting. Three bombs for a length of past. Only a three. It is simply the way of Kirby sometimes. Also, thank you, Sarah. Oh, shoot. I didn't want that, actually. I don't have Needle yet, so I have to let that go. Fortunately, there's fire right here. I don't know... Game, can you please explain to me the physics of what is happening right now? Where am I in correlation to everything else in the world? Ah! There we go. Burned from the inside. Uh, do I have ice? I do have ice. In fact, I have two ice. So I could actually upgrade ice. Provided that I have actually enough rare stones to do it. Because unfortunately, it is one thing for the randomizer to tell me I have enough rare stones, but because this is an annual, I physically have to have the rare stones too. Some conveyor belt, which is a water D. Yeah. Well, now that's just rude. Get back here with that. Purloined wall of the area. I make sure that I'm not in a position to die here. That's a missile tank. Uh, Snafo, hello. Welcome. This is uh, the Archimegalo. I'm doing 12 games in uh, the. Uh, in, uh, an archipelago server locally hosted. Plenty of chaos. Twelve games in twelve months. I don't think it's gonna take that long, but uh, it could take a hot minute.
Okay, so here's the trick. That's saying go left into the cake shop. But I happen to know there's more than one cake shop. This tells you go go to the cake shop across from the ice cream shop. Oh, and that's another memory of a distant world. Yes, but yes, as you can see, there are two cake shops. Only one of them is across from the ice cream shop. I must go this way. I have played this before. Um, I don't remember exactly when it was, but it was probably pretty close to the time that it came out. I uh, did a, a uh, complete playthrough of this game. So now I'm playing with additional restrictions. So I can only get an uh, I can only get an ability if the multi-world tells me I have it unlocked. But currently my options are Ice, Cutter, Fire, Tornado, Crash, and Duel. It's donut number two. I think I missed one. That's okay if I missed one, though. Yeah. Cool cool down. And <laughs> don't <not> worry. <laughs> and I'll just casually take down this entire wall because why not? Yeah, I remember having trouble finding all of the uh, all of the donuts the first time too. Might be just something that I end up having to look up, but that's okay. There's the third donut, and the fourth one is somewhere. But I did navigate the, the mall without getting lost. Uh, three rare stakes for Leah, and that is the stage. So we get vivid water for Leah. Very pick me up for Linnaeus. And three sandwiches for Leah. And thank you for the follow, Snaffle. Okay. Uh, so that has opened up. I think that opens up the first boss, eh? Hope you like gorillas, cuz oh boy howdy. We brawl them all. Oh, and the uh the checks for this are not great. Uh, so that opens up another... Um, and a couple of treasure roads, but I don't think those are in logic currently. No, we do have one. Um, one of those should be ice. Ice treasure. To reiterate here, um, it is not necessary for me to get the uh, target time, just to actually clear the time. If I really want it to be challenging, then I could do target time 
I've imposed that upon myself, but the logic does not require this. I think it's still valid. Was it one minute? Now oh, 40 seconds, never mind. Oh well. Uh, so Ice Treasure is a Waddle Dee. Actually, no, the other one is Fire Treasure. We have Fire. Oh, that's Ranger. Oh, there's Fire. Under 30 seconds for five levels of summoner. Okay, hot shot. Oh, what's going on here? Did I just send a bunch of checks that, uh, Horn and Logic? Hang on. Where is my other window? This one here. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. I was clicking on tracker page and it just sent, uh, the three checks for uh, the three Waldies at the end of Brawl them all. I, yeah, I don't know what happened. That's a weird glitch. I mean, I still need to actually do Brawl at them all, so it doesn't really change anything. Um... And Sammy got disconnected. Hopefully it's fine. Oh yeah, I got the Celestial Sash, didn't I? Well... That's still not in logic that I have it, so let's go earn it. But this shouldn't be too hard. I did- I thankfully, um, ended up sending the checks that, uh, I would simply have access to from finishing. Oh, banana. Uh, so our options are sword, bomb, and ice. Ice is the only one that I have, so... Oh, mama. That's, uh... Hmm. Hi. Are you a friend? You're not a friend. Please let go of me, sir. I don't appreciate it. Dormondo! 
First, first I need to make my way between the legs. Uh, given the abilities that I have, I'm probably not going to get the time trial. And I've already failed on uh, not taking damage from trying to go through the legs in the first place. Please, your ass. Okay, that was, uh, that was not as infallible of a plan as I was hoping it would be. Yeah, it's probably because of the, um... It's more the, uh, the shockwave than anything else, I think. Oh. The DK sixty four was not in this group. It may not be in this group, but I can still make a reference if one presents itself. Also, I just lost my ability, and I don't really want to do this without one. There we go. Now we have earned the Celestial Sash for real. Also I got the legs for Bright Bracer. And equipment for Leah. And we have cleared the stage. <laughs> Oh, I cleared it within two minutes. Okay. And that's an onyx for Symphony of the Night. Hooray! So on we go to Abandoned Beach and uh, the two first Waddles D are not in logic. But first, let's go back to town. Hi. We got Waldy Cinema. Uh, is there a check there? That's probably not. But there are two blueprints that we have access to now. Oh wait, hang on. Chocolate Carter blueprint. Okay, no fire. Okay, I'm not really sure how this works. I'm starting to think that uh, the per the copy abilities, the progressive copy abilities, doesn't forbid me from using the ability when I don't have a level of it. I don't know. It's still needs some figuring out. I think. Chakram Cutter, Volcano Fire. I 
and gives you the things for the first one. Now where do I find this check? All of these down. Cutter has evolved into Chakram Cutter. Oh, okay. When I got the blueprints, that's a check. Because only those two blueprints are in this list. So I get a fishing rod for a short hike. And I get another level D. So currently I'm still going to play as though I'm not able to actually use upgraded abilities. So I only have the first level of cutter. If I can figure out later on that uh, actually I have all the upgrade, I have all the abilities. The rule is you can't use a power you don't know, nothing about upgrades. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna keep going with uh I only have access to the abilities on this list. Which I think makes sense because um well I had I have fire and ice, so I could do fire and ice. But I think there was another ability uh treasure world. Yeah, there's a natural plane a natural planes bomb treasure and ranger treasure. And um those are those are showing is as not in logic. So if so if I don't have one progressive ability, then I can't use it at all. I mean it is not entirely my game, my rules. It's like if I start playing by my rules, but it's not quite the rules that were expected by uh the multi-world then logic is going to start getting skewed. Anyway, here we are at Everbay Coast. And right off the bat there are two treasure worlds that are in line. That check. All right, this points. The coins. The coins uh, on the map, unfortunately, do not count as checks. This is normal treasure, which means even if I didn't have any abilities, I was still in logic. There should be one more. Here it is. And that should be stairs now, if I'm not mistaken. It is. Oh, we're here. Let's do this first. Wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I just... I just looked over at my... Uh my stream output and um the time is not updating what the hell now why is it parked yeah no i have a lot more than 11 checks
Well, that sucks. Um, hang on. I have some adjustments to make because uh, we've been going at this for an hour and a half and it has not... Uh... Having to manually adjust the times because of this. I have not been noticing at all that it hasn't been updating. Uh, 15 times 60 plus 1007. Server's still running. And of course, Sammy crashed. Uh, what's going on? Yeah, I think we're good now. Yeah, I don't know when that stopped. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Anyway, uh, when, I'm, when I press start, it should have updated. Yeah, the clock for Kirby and the Forgotten Man is going. Okay, I think we're good. 55 checks is a little more um, what I would expect. Guess I'm gonna have to keep a better eye on this. I don't know why it stopped. This one's this one's kind of dumb, actually. So basically, you have to consider the fact that uh, when you eject the uh, the stairs mouth, it will launch forward.
Unless, of course, it can't. So this becomes like a complicated Sokoban puzzle. Sarah's mouth clear for max HP for time spinner. Plus well, like a five minute penalty trying to figure out why things just kind of stopped. What I should probably do is make it so that uh, if for any reason these... No, God! I didn't want to go back to town. Like what I should do is like if for any reason the script decides to park, I should make it make noise. It wouldn't necessarily be noise that y'all can hear, but if I can hear it at the very least. Success, Invincible Rampage. Oh, there's the Invincible Rampage. Nice and easy. Ripe apples for Olya. Not like a car alarm. If I want to hear a car alarm, there's plenty of those outside. Okay. Abandoned beach. It'll probably be the last stage before break. Uh, so I have uh, the third of the three waterlies is in logic. Crack open three knock knock nuts. Destroy the animal sand sculpture. Complete the sign on the rooftop. Uh, capsule on water near Warp Star and on Legend near Nogodiles, and the end of the stage. I have to break these things. Why is there a baby bottle in that? Then again, why is any fish pretty? Yeah. That's number two. Uh, 
Perhaps along water near Warp Star. Oh, that's the Rib of Vlad. That is one of the go mode pieces. And also gives me some stats. But I'm not gonna complain about that for sure. Feeling like there's probably a mini boss coming up. Sure. Ow. Unfortunately, Hammer's currently not in logic. So we're gonna have to leave that behind. Oh, I saw that ladder back there. Second first. Oh, there's the uh, sand sculpture that I need to heartlessly destroy. Five rusty bits for Leia. Yeah. It's definitely a trade item. Anything else over here? Nope. Yeah, I hear, I hear a lot of the, that is one of the ones that is not currently in Logic. that there is no underwater areas in this game. this. So five levels of black mage. Yeah, I've been starting to uh, get into white mage. Oh jeez. I've been try trying to get into white mage a little bit. Um, I'm a little more confident in white mage than I am as a tank in general, although the first dungeon that I ended up doing um, during my uh, session yesterday, the the tank didn't really seem to understand how tanking works. We can sign on the rooftop for a seashell. Do your heart long for an underwater level? Not really. It's a weird, but uh, I'm not exactly heartbroken. Bye. 
boat. I'm not gonna get on the boat just yet, actually. I see it's over here. Oh, over here is the exit. In that case, I will get in the boat, Shinji. What do say about that? Knock knock net. Poor Waddle And over here we find the one Waddle D that is uh, in logic. Or sand vial. And there we go, that is all the checks that are currently available. We get Blue Door Catacombs Poison Roots, Asamine for uh, what's his face, Alucard, and a Gold Questagon for the Ruin Seeker. Then the legend continues as we open up uh, con concrete aisles as well as. Uh, looks like two more treasure robes. Are in logic? They are not in logic, so we don't have to worry about them. Anyway, um. Getting a lot of progress done, actually. We start with like three checks and we're up to 67. So I think today is pretty much the Kirby show starring Kirby. I'm sorry if you're expecting anything else, but um, there's just too much, too much progress that I need to get done in this game. But for now, we're gonna go on a break so y'all can take a moment, get something to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth, and in about 10 to 15 minutes, um, more adventures with Kirby, I guess. Well, I'll see you in a bit.